So for those of you who don't know, it's been tough lately. I've been struggling. I feel like I'm in a like I'm in a deep hole. But I found a happy rock. So a rock told me I should be happy. Man, life is a battle. A lot of times it's difficult and there's certain things that we've had to give up to to be on this property here, to be out in the middle of nowhere. And one of those things is just the ease of, of doing something like uh, like going to a hardware store. Uh, there's a pawn shop nearby that does have some stuff. Or just, you know, the quick, easy taking care of something. Um, I told you guys a while ago when I was building the handle for that thing, that's a dark spot over there. When I was building that handle, I'm like, you know, I'm not gonna waste an hour and a half and, you know, five, 10, 15 bucks to go get a handle. Uh, I looked on the ground, I said, okay, that'll work, that's a handle. But today I had two different things I needed. One was a longer bolt, and the other was a special kind of nut. Um, and I'm like, oh, man, I just wanna get this stuff started. I just wanna take care of things. My main goal right now is to get us moved into over there. And yet I'm standing here doing something completely unrelated, right? And eventually I'm like, fine, I'm gonna do it. I mean, I may have to run to town tomorrow, so I didn't want to do it today. So I took off, spent, man, two or three hours. I chose to go to Missouri rather than a place in, in Arkansas because of uh, a number of reasons. In the end, I actually grabbed the wrong thing. <laughs> so when I got back, I was, I was like more frustrated than when I left. Um, it's not that I don't like going to town, it's just that I, I really don't like going to town. I'd rather not have to. If I want to, I should be able to. I've got that freedom, but I really just, I don't want to. I've got things to do here. So, I'm gonna get back and I start working on stuff. Realize that's not the right thing I needed. <sighs> Decided to come out here and take care of some things and it started raining. So obviously it's not raining right now. But, so some of the things that we gave up was just the ease of being able to, oh, I'll just take a five minute drive and grab what I need at the nearest store. But the thing is, is that the projects I'm doing, I mean, I wouldn't be able to do a lot of them in the city anyway. So to say, you know, that, oh, if only I lived in the city, then it'd all be fixed. Uh, not so, because this a lot of stuff I do, I wouldn't be able to do in the city. You know, I, I gave up the ease of some of that stuff to move out in the middle of nowhere so that I could exercise a certain amount of freedom. Um, like even my, my lawnmowers, you know, we got 10 sheep and two goats in there right now. Um, I wouldn't be able to do that in the city. So, I'm working on number two. There's number one, okay. There's number two. Number three is gonna be over here. I gotta get it ready. Number three is gonna be something I think a little different because uh, kinda to a degree copying number one to make number two, but uh, I've got some other ideas too. And they're, all, they're each, you know, individuals. Um, that's fine, but I think I'm gonna do something extra special for number three over there. So, kind of in the midst of things, no matter what you do in life, I think there's gonna be a certain amount of battle. Man must exist in a physical space. Often you have to pay to be in some sort of physical space, unless you wanna just be completely homeless. There's a lot of places you really just can't wander with a certain amount of freedom and still take care of things, um, which is unfortunate. So, I'm winning the battle, I think, day by day. If I just get back, and I've got so much to do, and I'm completely discouraged because I'm like... Sorry, grasshopper distracted me. I was gonna throw it to the ducks. Um, I don't know. I guess overall, just trying to say I appreciate it for what it's worth, but there is a lot of perseverance. There is a lot of, you know, just going at it. I've got so much to do down here. Like I said, I can't do it when I'm in town. I can't do it when I'm not here. But on the bright side, and I'll show you guys this. This is, like I said, 12 animals. Um, I'll peek over the fence for you. There's a number of poison ivies and shrubberies and stuff, but they should pretty much eat it down to nothing. Maybe even by tomorrow, if I really let them graze at it. I'll pull out the big stuff at that point and um, be ready to start my next project. So, we'll see. It's progressing, but, you know, there's pros and cons to everything. And, uh, ultimately, if the pros don't outweigh the cons, things ain't going to be working out too well at all. So...
I got work to do. I'm glad it stopped raining. I'm glad I can do something. Hopefully, within about another week, we'll be moved into our land, uh, onto our land, into our house. But I'm also going to be moving, you know, the rest of our animals and other things down too. So, hence projects like this. All right, I'll check in with you guys soon. Trying to deal with life, so reading, reading cantaloupe makes a lot of noise sometimes, depending on who's eating it. So I was just down here, kind of feeling discouraged and depressed, having a hard time trying to figure things out. My family showed up and they told me they loved me. They even brought cantaloupes, so I think it's true. Monster truck! Don't talk with your mouth full. See? Look. Monster truck even got his hair done like mine to show me how much he loves me. So, that's pretty good. You know, he must, must, must really love you if he gets his hair done like yours, you know, just to show you how much he cares. So between the cantaloupe... Sorry, son. And the, uh... And of course him getting his hair done like mine. Their words really seem to mean something, you know. When they tell me they love me. Right. So we're just gonna keep eating cantaloupe. Until there's no more cantaloupe done. And, uh, then I gotta try to do everything. I heard it's... cantaloupe's good for your hair. <laughs> There's my pudge of white spot, yeah. Not sure there's really a point in recording this much longer. Mm. Ah. But I heard, as long as you do, people might watch it. <clears throat> epic, epic cantaloupe eating. Um. Mm. Oh, wait. If you uh, put epic in the title, more people are gonna watch it because, <clears throat> because then they'll think it's epic. And if they ask you, hmm. Mm. Don't talk with your mouth full. If they ask you why it's epic, Daddy, you, you say, me. you say because, uh, because we put epic in the title. <laughs> What's up? Uh, we saw the little fishies eat the food. We just saw the little ones, but we saw the big one come up and eat it, but they came really fast. Mmm. He's eating cantaloupe too. <laughs> So, and what'd you tell me when you came here? That we loved you and we, we um, thanked you for all you heard the work. Yeah, and you brought me a sandwich, right? And cantaloupe and some cold water. So I know it's true because they brought me cantaloupe. <laughs> and Monster Truck got his hair done like mine. Show me how much he loves me. Oh, okay. Maybe you guys don't love me. <laughs> Did you see that, buddy? Hey, little man. You want to sit here, Peter? It's oh. your little thing. Okay, I've got to get back to eating cantaloupe. Papa, out, out! I burped a little bit right there. So, as expected, the sheep pretty much annihilated this and got it all ready for work. Already, just a couple little things left in there, chewing up a lot of that. So on the bright side, all the poison ivy, all the other things, oh yeah, the goats helped. Are just pretty much down to the rock ground level. I can pull up the rocks, not the rocks, the logs, the branches. Get it ready, start working on another one of those once I finish that one. And go from there. So at least in the midst of everything I got help. Like that guy on the hill behind me trying to knock down my pile. Boy, get off that pile! At least he obeys. So, about my rock, you know, there I was, all sad, oh, driving around, trying to go to town and take care of business. Found this. It says, 
Today is the perfect day to just be happy. Go on, be happy. I don't always listen to messages on rocks. I mean, one comes flying through the window, a rock, and then it's got a little note taped to it. The note says, get out. You know, you, you go outside and you stand there and whoever threw it already drove away. And get about 10 or 15 minutes into driving or standing there. And you realize, hey, hey, wait a minute. You know, I got brownies in the in the oven. So then you gotta go back in, tell, tell another rock with a message comes flying through the window. It says, get out. But, uh, how? Anyway, sheep are working, I'm working. Nah, I'm not really getting anything done, actually. I should get something done. Boy, life's a lot of work. Don't you ever grow up? Yes? No, no, don't say yes. I said, don't you ever grow up? It's a statement, not a question. Do you understand? Okay, he understands. Same, same goes for you. Actually, you probably should grow up. Then, uh, then you get responsibilities. The ability to be responsible. Hopefully. What's that goat doing? Whoa, he's way up in the tree. Look at him on his hind legs, standing there like a little Rory Calhoun. Man, look at you on your hind legs. Crockett. Impressive. And he's all grown up now. And that's why his front legs and his face are kind of more yellow. Do you like his part? <laughs> he's got that part right in the middle of his head. I don't know what kind of look he's going for. But uh, now he's all grown up, so he pees on his face, on his front legs. And uh, smells pretty ripe. But I think he does the job with the ladies, because the two in there with the sheep look pregnant. So hopefully more goats soon enough. All right, all right. Pop out. As always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steamit.com and join the revolution. Pop out.